Hey witches, it's Willow Moonlight. I am doing a little vlog on the first day of June in 2020. A lot of uh, personal things have been going on recently or even in the past year and this is a continuation of it. I am making a follow-up video soon. I've made some before but deleted them. Uh, continuing the uh, embracing womanhood and shedding girlhood. So kind of in step two, I think, or what I envision is the second part of that, which is uh, learning to accept responsibility. In Beltane, I made um, this powder here. It's to help, you know, banish your fears and, of course, my fear is responsibility. So I've been receiving some help to get to a place where I'm not afraid of responsibility. I've been receiving some esoteric life coaching from Butterfly Magic with Hot Tea. She has been super helpful. I've only done one session so far and I'm hoping that I can finish up some of my, uh, you know, exercises things to help me think about uh, my life and whatnot. So on my walk, as you see, I collected a few little things. This right here is some little flowers. I don't even know what these are all called. We used to pick them a lot when we were kids, but that's my little offering to Hecate. Um, everything here is about working with my inner child, and I decided to actually take a more intuitive approach to uh, working with my inner child. So I decided to go for a walk and allow my inner child to just explore the environment around me. I walked just down the tra uh, down the road, turned left onto the trail, and then went onto the nature reserve and uh, went to the strawberry field and sat there for a little bit. It's kind of like my sacred space. So you'll see a little clip of it when uh, when there's that uh, little bench that's in between the two trees. That's kind of where I like to sit and just think and take everything in. So I thought I would pick up some of these little flowers for Hecate as I was on my walk, much like when I was a child, we would, um, you know, pick little flowers like that and give them to our teacher. It was so, it was so cute. <laughs> and I found a rock that I kind of liked, so I thought I would bring that. You know, just a few other little things, pine cone. <laughs> this, oh my gosh, I think this is a lilac. Or, uh, yeah, from a lilac tree or whatever. Um, I found this in somebody's yard. I know that sounds like, oh my God, why are you going into people's yards and taking things without asking? And to be fair, the lilac tree kind of, you know, crept out onto the sidewalk. So I was able to kind of quickly ask, you know, permission to take a piece from the tree, mind you. And, uh... Yeah, there was one little, this one was kind of just hanging like that, and I felt very drawn to it. It was like pulling me towards it, so yeah, I picked it. And I'm hoping that this can help me um, go back to my inner child, and, or go back to my childhood is what I'm trying to say, because... I want to go back at different points in my life and find out, you know, where, you know, my fear of responsibility came into play. Obviously, that's through different periods of my life. Um, I guess if you want to hear more details about that, let me know and I will make a video about it. But I think some of the unfortunate things in my childhood and I'm not you know being mean to the people that I love or who were trying to protect me in those moments but sometimes I kind of felt like at times I was shoved out of the way and tasks or things were 
you know, given to people who are more competent at them. And the one who is me, who was eager to learn these things, I kind of had to stay out of the way. And I feel like this a lot still. <laughs> so many different ways. And it, like I said, it's not always because people just are mean and don't want me to grow or learn. I think a lot of it might be their own fears or it could be them thinking that they're protecting me. But whatever is going on, it's not always being communicated to me or not always being understood why someone's doing the things that they're doing. And it could also just simply be that maybe, you know, people... I don't even know how to really explain it, but maybe just, you know, some people just really don't care or they don't have the patience to help help me uh, learn or to teach or to understand these things. So I just want to take time to go back to different moments in my childhood and be able to create a more mature understanding or maybe explaining you know, my adult self explaining to my child self in better ways, you know, why, you know, we're not doing this or not doing that, or even envisioning myself, teaching myself, teaching my child version or child version of myself how to do these things that I wanted to learn, but didn't know how and wasn't allowed to even go near for whatever reason. So... Yeah, I, I used to play a lot in the woods as a child because that's that's what we did growing up is play in the woods. So I'm bringing all of this here to help um, bring about that energy of who I was as a child and just to help that child grow. So... I think that's all I have for today. I do have to go into work later, sadly, and carry on the adult responsibilities I've already acquired. So I wish I did have the whole day off. However, in a couple days, I will have two days off. So anyways, that's it for today.